Okay, it is seven o'clock. I'm not ready to be up because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready and then mom's making coffee. I'm gonna go get a coffee because I want a coffee. Okay, I'm dressed. I have work today too, so. But me and Grayson are gonna go and move Mouse and Bruno. And the dogs are going crazy. Okay, we just got down there. Grayson's up there putting stakes up. I just uh, moved their current front fence over a little bit, hooked it on my round pen so that um, I can put the new front fence up. So we're gonna do that really quick and yeah. There I go. You're kidding me, I have to walk through the Yep, take the hook, go. It is open. Just pull. There's the boys. I trapped them in the round pen so that we can do this without them running amok and getting in the way. I can do this one-handed. Hey, I did it. One-handed. I'm so skilled. But we're going all the way up there. The front fence, well, the main fence is like 30 feet back behind the uh, bar barbed wire. We're trying to keep these paddocks kind of small because there's only two of them and we don't want a whole bunch of selective grazing. So we're gonna keep them as small as we can without my cowie horse chasing our bull all over the place. Okay, I didn't have a jumper, so I just kind of like wrapped it and stuck it through that so that it stays. Here's our boys. All right, we're gonna open this fence or well, this panel and then pull that reel over to it so that they go into their new pasture because this one's done. Okay, I got Grayson right there with that. Come on, boys! Probably gonna have to go get Bruno. There's Mouse. Here he comes. Okay, now Grayson and I are going to attempt to pull the mineral across this fence. <laughs> no promises, though. I'm gonna make him try alone first. You got it, pull. Pull. You got it, come on. I got Grayson down there. He just turned the fence around because I had to move that orange stake close to the round pen so that they could still get water over there but not squeeze back into their old paddock. Well, Deanne's here now and I'm gonna eat again because I'm hungry. I got my food. Deanne and I hopped in the truck to bring it down to uh, the other truck. Okay, we're leaving right now on our way to work. We're almost there, we're on the dirt road. I still like that. We're on the dirt road. We're almost there. We're on the dirt road. Okay, so this horse actually stood amazingly for most of this. He had some pretty long toes on the front, but we got those trimmed down and fit to his shoes. Here you can see me cutting the nails down to length so that I can clinch them. And clinching will help them to stay on longer and, you know, not fall off because nobody wants a shoe that falls off. She always kept telling me how she was tough enough to do this job. <laughs> Aww, you hurt yourself. Yeah. I don't know if she's cut out for this guy. Well, we're done, so we're gonna clean up. You mean I'm gonna clean up? Yeah, I gotta just sit here and be pregnant. Well, Trandy and I are back on the farm. We're gonna go pick her riding friend up, and then we're gonna do a lap around the farm and go see what dad's doing, catch horses, check all the animals. So, I don't know what that last part was. Okay, we're just pulling up to Makaili's house, which is my riding friend. Uh, and there she is. It took me a minute, but I found him. He's down yonder. Here he is. <laughs> I almost fell. I come bearing gift. Oh, thank you, thank you. How's mowing? Oh, it's bumpy, and it's hot, and it's dusty, and I love it. Looks like you still got a ways to go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have uh, many hours left. Yeah, oh, I can normally mow like, you know, an acre and maybe an hour, hour and a half of normal stuff. This stuff's so thick, it's taking me, I don't know, maybe a couple hours an acre. It's terrible. Okay, well, we're going to go catch horses and you. ride. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Move the horses and cows really quick. 
that's how we're gonna do that. Hook into this, go into the T-post over there, and then we gotta pull a few branches off the fence that fell on it. But we'll be done fast. Okay, the fence is up. Um, I forgot to film it because I'm brain dead. But it's okay. We're gonna go move their water and their mineral, but first we're gonna catch them because if I put them out here on fresh grass, mm, there will be no catching them. Okay, so the horses got through over there, but it's okay, we got these three. And now I'm gonna let the cows through. I know, I hear you. I'd say they're ready to be moved. Here it comes, come on. <whistles> Why are you walking over my freaking wire? Go. Keep, come on cows. Keep, new paddock. Don't step over my wire. <laughs> That's why they don't like me. My favorite little steer, or not steer yet, but. Scary, I might die. Ah! I'm tripping off. Ha. We got it. We're dragging it to the next paddock. Us. Job well done. Now we can go ride. By the end of this, my jeans are going to be white because she is shedding terribly right now. And Laddie is unsure on which side he wants to be on. And Scout, like always, is leading like a dream. And she's actually being kind of okay right now. But I'm not. I'm not gonna say any more than that because I don't want to jinx myself because I don't want to get thrown. She's kind of a, a long fall. Uh, so slight issue. I sort of lost him, but he's he's coming along slowly, and she won't go. This is Ona. She is our eight or nine. I can't remember exactly. She's eight or nine though. Um, she's a Shire Pertron. She is kid safe. I can put my eight-year-old brother on her. She's a great horse, honestly. We are just tacking up to go for a little trail ride. Look at how sharp she looks. Does that tell you how wide she is? I like doing the splits. Ah, okay, we're ready. Okay, so my phone died on our ride. I kind of messed up and forgot to charge it. But we rode, we came back, we had some dinner, and it's starting to get kind of cloudy and windy now, so. And I'd say, uh, in all, we had a pretty good day. Um, thanks again for watching. We'll see you again on Tick Creek Ranch. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow.